Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and happy new year 2023 to all of you. I hope this year brings the best out of you and you have an amazing design career going forward. So a couple of weeks back, we posted this video on this fancy uh, sneaker carousel and uh, immediately after posting this video, I started receiving comments like this interaction is not working. What can we do? And it's actually true. After a few weeks, uh, even this interaction stopped working for me as well. So the reason behind this is that um, I think Figma has done some updates to the interactive components and that's why the bi-directional drag that we have used to build this is not working anymore. So if you see, I'm trying to uh, swipe right, but it's again swiping in the same direction. So uh, that's the problem that is happening. The bi-directional drag is not working in uh, the interactive component state. I think it's a bug and I hope Figma will resolve this soon, but till they do, uh, let's have a fix here in the video itself. So I'm going to explain a fix, a quick fix so that you can still create the same uh, interaction without using the interactive component. So yeah, let's go forward. So we're in Figma right now. And by the way, I'm going to uh, explain things really quickly because I've explained all of this in the older video as well. So you can go check it out as well. I have linked this in the uh, description so you can go check it out. The steps will almost be the same, just that we won't be creating any interactive components to build this. Okay. So the first thing that you need is basically the image assets. So you have, so I have picked this uh, sneaker image from Nike.com. Just simply go there and copy paste a bunch of uh, sneaker images that you want. And the next thing that we need to do is remove the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click uh, my remove BG plugin. I'm using this remove BG plugin. And what it'll do is it'll remove the uh, background from this image and it'll give us a clean sneaker image. So if you see, it has removed the background and now we have a really clean sneaker images. So go grab a couple of images that you want in your carousel. So my cleaned up sneaker images are ready here. I've taken these uh, four uh, images as an example from Nike.com. So I hope you have no doubts in this step. The next thing that you need to do is you need to have an artboard. So I've picked an iPhone 14 artboard and I've thrown some dummy UI on top of it. We are not going to animate it. Now the next thing that we need to do is just pick the first image and drag it in your artboard. Okay. And I'm just going to central align it a little bit like this. Perfect. Now the next thing that we need to do is quickly add the title and the pricing of this particular sneaker. So let's quickly do that. So our image and the price tag is ready. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to select the image, the text associated with it and the pricing as well. And we need to club all of this together, group all of this together into a single frame. So I'll hit option command G and the respective command for the windows users will also be there in the screen. So you can check it out as well. So option command G and it'll create a frame out of this. And all of our elements is now in this frame. And I'm going to call it sneaker one. And now you have to repeat the same step for all the uh, other sneakers that we have. So let's quickly do that. So now our, all the images are ready. We have added the sneaker image as well as the text and price together and combined them in a frame. And all of them are now in their individual frame. So now all the four uh, sneaker images are ready. Now the next thing we need to do is first of all, just align them next to each other so that there is no spacing in between. Okay. And the next thing that you need to do is select all the four sneaker uh, groups that you have created, the frames that you have created. I'll just hit shift on my keyboard and select all the frames. So all the frames are now selected and I have to combine them all in a bigger frame. So I'll do option command G and I'll combine them in a bigger frame and I'm going to call it bigger frame. Okay. So I'm going to call this frame as a bigger frame. Now this bigger frame contains everything. Okay. If you see here, it contains all the four images and now it's in the um, artboard. Cool. So the next thing that we need to do is if you see um, in our older video, the first image that we had is always um, the one that is in the center is uh, slightly rotated at an angle. So that's what we need to do here. We'll just come here, select our first image in the first frame. And since in the first one, that will be the first image. So I'm just going to come here and gonna give it a rotation of around 50 degrees. Uh, you can pick any rotation that you want and you feel like working for you. I'm going to pick 50 degrees and just going to center align it a little bit. So when we move from uh, left to right and the first image in the center, this will be the image. Okay. Rotated and the rest one will be in the same line. And the next thing that we need to do is we also need to create a little bit of a scaling effect. So if you see in this original video, there's a little bit of a scaling effect. Um, the images are getting a little bit bigger when they come in. 
So what we need to do is we need to make other images smaller. So the one that in the center will be the biggest, the other ones in the um, uh, carousel will be smaller. So I'll select all of them, the rest of the images except the center one and um, I'm going to scale them. So hit K on your keyboard and it'll open the scale tool and just scale it, scale them a little bit. Okay, so that you get a nice scaling effect. So I'm going to scale them like this. Perfect. Okay. Now the next thing that you need to do is if you see the bigger frame, they are now somewhat misaligned. So what you have to do is don't change the bigger frame in any way. Just select the individual ones and center align them. So now the bigger frame, if you see, this is the bigger frame, the boundary. These are center aligned a little bit smaller and the center one is rotated and bigger. So that's what you have to do. And uh, now I'm going to duplicate. So this is my first frame that is ready. What we are doing here as of now is after this step, we would have created components, but we are not doing it because our drag is not working in the component. So we are going to skip that stage. And what we need to do now is we need to create these frame individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this frame entirely. And I'm going to repeat the same step that I did for the first one, except I'm going to move it to the second image. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll first select this and bring the second image in the center like this. And if you remember the image in the center, that's the only one that needs to be bigger. So first of all, I'll rotate the first image back to its original shape so like this. Okay. Uh, if you see this image is a little bit uh, smaller because you have scaled it down. So we'll just scale it to the biggest size because it's in the center. We're doing the same exact step that we did for the first one. So I've increased the image size of the second one. Now I have to decrease the image size of the other one. So the rest of the two are already decreased in sizes. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce the size for the first one. And I'm going to rotate the center image to again that 50 degree size. Make it a little bit in the center. Rest of the images again, same way. You have to do the same trick again. Okay, so our second frame is ready. We have done the same thing. First, in the first frame, the first image was rotated and the rest one was um, not rotated and uh, smaller in scale. In the second uh, one, the second image is rotated and the rest of these are smaller in scale. Now again, repeat the same step for the third and fourth sneakers as well. And we'll be ready with our other frames. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so all of our four stages are ready. So if you see the first one is ready, the second one, the second one is rotated, third one and the fourth one. All the four stages are ready. You have to do the same step for the number of images that you have. Now what we need to do is we need to just quickly uh, prototype them, wire them up. So I'll go to the prototyping tab. And now what I have to do is I'll just select the first one, the first group, and I'll select this bigger frame. So remember that we created this bigger frame which contains all the images. So I'm just gonna come here, select, and I'm just gonna drag the first one to the second artboard. Just drag it to the second artboard, okay? So it should say second artboard. And you don't want on click, you want on drag. And navigate to, that's perfectly fine. Smart animate. You don't want ease out, you can do gentle and 800 milliseconds, okay? Perfect. Now select the second one and drag it to the next artboard. Give it the same interaction. On click, instead of on click, on drag. Smart animate gentle 800 milliseconds. Now here you have to do one more thing. So if you scroll back, you should be able to go to the next screen. So just hit the second option in, um, again, hit this plus option in the second frame and link it back to the first one. Okay. So on drag again and smart animate gently 800 milliseconds. So just creating a bi-directional flow from the second one onwards. Now you have to do the same step for the third one. Link it back. And from the last one, you just have to link it to the previous one. Perfect. So I think we are now done. Let's quickly see how this looks like. Woohoo, it's working perfectly fine the way we intended it to be. So without using interactive components, we have now accomplished the same interaction and this looks absolutely amazing. All of the scrolls, bi-directional scrolls are working perfectly fine. So yeah guys, this is the fix. I hope you like this video. And the 
source files will of this video will be in the description subscribe to the channel and i'll be bringing more tutorials really soon so take care bye bye and a happy new year again